I thought I was recording, so I just talked to myself for no reason. Like a crazy person. <sighs> so, I apologize. I haven't uploaded any videos in a while. Um, I know. I know there's like 10 people that are really, really concerned about that. Um, which is a, a dig at myself. But, uh, yeah, i just been busy with, uh, with lots of things. Um, so, there's going to be videos coming out of this car. Um, not a ton because I got it running and I didn't really record a whole lot. I've been tuning it myself. Didn't really re record a whole lot of that. Um, but I did, you know, make a couple of videos of getting the engine together, putting it in the car, doing the startup. So I'll share what I have, what I can. Uh, I promise this spring I will, uh, record more. Okay. I've just been busy. I have a new purchase. This is a 2004 Volkswagen Turin. It's my work vehicle. Uh, it is friggin' cool. It's out of Germany. Um, it's a PD140, two liter, 16 valve, dual cam, diesel. Europe only. Um, it's got a refreshed, a brand new head on it. Uh, dark side developments, Six seventeen forty nine billet wheel turbo, uh, Malone stage two three tune. I'm not even sure. The DSG has a tune as well. Uh, so yeah, so this is my kind of work project. I was using it most of the summer. It does. It is super comfortable. It's uh, pretty decent on fuel. So uh, so yeah, it's freaking cool. I love it. It has. It's on ATS uh, DTM2 wheels currently. And it has a Brembo kit from an Audi Q7 with a GL450 rotor. I'm actually gonna be removing that. I'm trading these with a buddy of mine who has a um, bags for a Mark V, which is what this platform is. So we're gonna be doing a bag setup because I'd like to be able to, one, air out and slam it because that's just cool and two when driving with the tools i can bump up the pressure in the back and keep the keep it even because with the tools in the back it does get a little bit low on the rear and we ain't doing no carolina squats up in her so yeah so i have brand new mark 5 gti calipers and rotors and pads so i'm gonna be doing that i'm not gonna record it because who wants to see that but this thing is freaking cool I'll put up a couple of videos of like some cold starts and maybe a, I think I have one pull video. It's, uh, I have to redo the exhaust because back here it's like four inch or something. And then in the center it's stock. And then on the down pipe, it's like mostly stock with like a big elbow on it. So we're just going to redo the whole thing front to back, do a nice three inch. Uh, yeah. So there will be videos on this. Um, I'll, show, I'll share what I can. The other purchase is this. This is my 01 uh, Mustang GT, five speed, no auto. So its name is Boomhauer. Uh, yeah, I got it. It didn't, it's been sitting for, for I think a few years or whatever. The engine, not in it, because uh, it was running, but it was burning oil. Owner pulled it all apart. Then bought a house, left the engine outside, a running engine, and so that uh, block was trash. So I bought a donor car. So I have an engine here that uh, is running. I'm gonna strip it down for a rebuild. We are gonna do manly rods, pistons, do stage three cams, I think. Uh, we'll part the heads, do a Victor Junior intake manifold. Um, it's gonna be on MS3 plug and play uh, and I'm gonna build a custom turbo kit for it I'm gonna use um, the F-150 4.6 shorty headers 
Um, and I gotta cut and modify and hack up and make a turbo kit out of that. I was gonna do on three, because it is like a really good price, but that really good price is an American. And right now in, uh, in Canada, the dollar is crap, shipping is crap. So a cheap turbo kit with a turbo that, I don't, that I'm not gonna end up using because I'm gonna upgrade the on three turbo because it's a cast, you know, whatever. Um, and it ends up being like a $5,000, $6,000 problem when, uh, when I could just re I could just build it myself for cheaper. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to use this block for mock-up. Uh, this is a blown block that I picked up. It has mainly internals in it. Uh, one of the rods broke. So, um, I got this for super cheap. It was rebuilt. It's got 3000 K on it. Ooh. And, um, the heads are mint and everything. So. I got it for cheap enough that uh, I took a risk to see if the internals are good. If not, I'll take the heads off and, uh, and yeah, just keep, you know, strip it for parts or whatever. But I will use that for mock-up anyway. Uh, for the turbo kit, I have a tubular K-member that's going to go on it. I have coil levers for the front. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be videos on this I'm going to record. And uh, I'll post up whatever, whatever I can. I know I apologize for, for the ten people who watch, uh, that uh, you know I haven't been posting consistently. Uh, it's been like a year, so the footage you're gonna see is way back, and uh, I've just been sitting on that stuff for a while. So that's my bad. So I'm just gonna just pump out whatever videos I can, whenever I can, as per usual. And uh, yeah, so you'll see stuff on this the build on that um we're going to be going to the dyno with this um relatively soon um get the water meth working it's all plumbed just not wired so i have to take it to the I have to test all that stuff wire it test it make sure it works then go to the dyno and see what we can do but you guys won't see that for a while but i will record it so yeah, that's what's up. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, there's some going to be some videos coming up. Peace.